Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I want to address a major panic that's occurring in the Flat Earth community right now, and that is the final experiment. So how on earth is the Flat Earth going to explain a 24-hour sun in Antarctica at 80 degrees south? The problem is, is that the flurf daddies, the people that write the script for the Flat Earth, that their minions go to comment sections and just parrot, have a problem with this because they have already admitted that if there is a 24-hour sun in Antarctica, it rules out the flat Earth. Well, now they're going. They're going to find out. Because they are frauds, they know that there will be a 24-hour sun. And they are desperately trying to figure out a way to explain it away on a flat Earth. Now, when faced with this problem, flat Earthers in general will sit down and find some obscure thing in a physics article that they hope that nobody understands and claim that that thing will support their position. Unfortunately, some of us out here actually know what these things are. Now, one such example is called a coffee cup caustic. Now, here's a coffee cup. A light source is going to be over there. Let's go ahead and shine it in here and see what we get. Look at that. Look at that. Now, do you see that little triangle at the base of the coffee cup? That is the coffee cup caustic. Now, the light source is over in that direction, and there's a little triangle with a spike that points towards the light source. Now, their claim is that during the day, we're going to see the sun in Antarctica, because as you can see, my light source is actually illuminating the bottom of the coffee cup. However, if I come over here, all I have left is that little coffee cup caustic. Now their claim is, is that that coffee cup caustic is what we will see when the sun is on the other side of the earth. That's how we could get 24 hour sunlight in Antarctica. It's not direct sunlight, it's a reflection off the dome. Now if I take my coffee cup and I take a laser that has two light sources on it, what happens when I shine it in the dome? Notice that the laser bounces off the back wall of the coffee cup and then crosses at the bottom. And that forms a focal point. Now the coffee cup caustic is a combination of many such focal points. Let me show you what it looks like. Now if we have two light sources here on the left and they shine up against these crossed reflective surfaces, the reflection of those light sources will form this curve, which is called an envelope. Now a very similar thing occurs with a coffee cup caustic. The light source is at the top of the page it shines against the back of the coffee cup and as two slightly different rays of light hit the back of the coffee cup and then converge towards the center, they come to a focal point along a curve. In this case, this heart-shaped curve, which is called a cardioid curve. Now, if we take our coffee cup and put the light source above it, we see the exact same pattern. But wait, the flat earthers have a problem. Let's see what that is. Okay, so if the sun is below the horizon in Antarctica, we can indeed see this little coffee cup caustic down there, and we would see a sun reflected off of the dome in the opposite direction of where the sun actually is. So if the sun is at solar noon, it will be due north of our location. The reflection would be due south of our location, and we would be illuminated by that reflection. We would see the reflection of the sun to the south above the horizon. However, what happens in this situation where we have direct sunlight from our light source and we have a coffee cup caustic? We would see two suns, one to the north and one to the south. And that is one of two fatal problems that the Flat Earth has with their argument about the coffee cup caustic. First of all, in order to prove that this is correct, you will have to demonstrate that you have two suns, one to the north and one to the south that are both visible at the same time as I just demonstrated. But the big gorilla in the room that nobody wants to talk about is you still have to prove that there's a dome. All right? You have to prove that the, there is a reflective surface to cause this coffee cup caustic. And it doesn't count to say, well, this is my belief, therefore it must exist. You can't claim that simply because you see a sun to the south of you in Antarctica that you are, by definition, seeing a coffee cup caustic and therefore there must be a dome. It doesn't work that way. You know, you're already in Antarctica. Go up to the dome and tap on it for me. 
show me physical evidence that there actually is a dome. Not that you simply believe there must be one because you think you know what's going on with this coffee cup caustic. Show me physical evidence of the dome itself. So, this is Bob the Science Guy, extracting flat earth tears just for the fun of it in a little education. Make sure you guys hit a like and subscribe on my channel, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.